Hello HHS, welcome back to HHS Today. I'm your host, Manoli Barris. And I'm Declan Hurt. Today we have a jam-packed episode for you. On this episode, we have Josh with his opinion on pep rallies. Should there be more than one pep rally a year? Hi, I'm Josh, and I think that there should be. Pep rally is a really fun experience and it involves the entire school. Pep rally always comes on a Friday, which is already good enough, but Spirit Week leads up to that Friday. Spirit Week lets the students and teachers dress up in different ways that you would normally not see throughout the school year. Starting on a Monday, seeing the students dress up and to show their spirit tells me that it's going to be a really fun week. After the fun week comes to a Friday, going into the gymnasium and hearing everyone cheer is just a great sight. The seniors getting everyone pumped up, everyone knowing that it's the beginning of Hiller Sports once again. After pep rally ends, everyone goes home and, for, and a few hours later, they come back to watch the Hiller football game. All this stuff is really fun and chaotic, and only having it once a year is really such a shame. If we can't have more than one pep rally a year, then we should at least have more than one spirit week a year. That's my opinion. What's yours? Tell us by visiting our website. <laughs> wow, Josh, that is really interesting. Yeah, Josh, I know. I'm really excited for pep rally. Next up, we have everyone's favorite question of the day. This week's question is how many phones have you broken? What's up, I'm Aiden. Uh, this is my most recent broken phone. I think it's like the fourth one. So, I break a lot of phones. Seven. Once or twice. Three times. Great answers. Some of you have broken a lot of phones. While we were out there getting those answers, we decided to ask a second question. Do you think you use your phone too much? The results were pretty close, with 18 people saying they did use their phone too much, and 15 people saying they didn't. One funny answer we received is... I uh, realized that I used my phone too much after I broke it. Colin did as well when he dropped it in a toilet. Wow, Manoli, that was a really close poll. Next up, we have Fernanda with five cool Instagram accounts to follow right now. Have you ever been bored looking at your own Instagram? We've got the solution for you. Here are five great Instagram marketing accounts to follow. Number one is at Abstract Sunday, which is the account of a German man named Christoph Niemann, who describes himself as a visual storyteller and uses day-to-day -day things to add to his illustrations very creatively. Number two is at Vincent Underline Ball, the account of the Belgian shadowologist that uses objects, shadows to create forms on top of his drawings. Number three is at Petra Erickson Studio, that has a lot of colorful and pretty illustrations by a talented Swedish graphic designer. Number four is at Vanishtad, which has a lot of 3D satisfying animation art by a Swedish designer and motion graphic artist. And finally, number five is at Accidentally West Anderson, which has a lot of photography of places around the world that somehow are symmetric and have a certain color palette that resembles the scenery from a West Anderson movie. Those Instagram accounts seem cool, so check them out. Next up, we have Fernanda once again with her interview with some of the international students at HHS. What is the best food you have eaten since you came here? Since I came here? Mm, I've eaten a lot of food. My favorite one is, I think, it's hamburger. Hamburger. Uh, hamburgers. Um, I think it was s'mores. Uh, probably American cookies. They're the best. Uh, burger. Uh, I don't know. I like most everything, so it's good. Ah, uh, chicken teriyaki. Uh, I think it's chicken salad. Chicken strips. Um, the Indian food my host family bought me. Uh, for me, hot dog. What do you miss most at home? Uh, I think food, of course, and my family. <laughs> uh, my family and my dog. Pasta, I don't know. <laughs> uh, hot pot. Um, I miss my parents and uh, Chinese food. I'm touching people when I meet them or when I say goodbye. We always touch people. My family? Uh, my family and the food. My family. Thanks. Wow, I didn't know there were that many exchange students. It's interesting to see where they're all from and what they like most about America. Well, that's all we have for you today. Make sure to check out our web-only content, like an extended version of Fernanda's exchange student interview, at hhs.today. Make sure to tune in next week for more. Now get out there and study hard. Are we done yet? All right, you're done. Too easy.